All right, good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to MBTV for our second stream of the night. I'm still the same person, the captain last you know and love, <laughs> that captain last on Twitter. I'm joined by another person which you almost certainly love. I say almost certainly, I mean 100% definitely certainly love, because who wouldn't love him? It is E-Man of the Cool Gaming Bros. Hello, Lust. My regular co-caster. How are you doing? I'm unchanged. Unchanged? Just a break, just some froggy music, some great stuff by Audionautics, but now it's time no for drama America break. to shine. No life-changing occurrences? No, not in 20 minutes, my friend. <laughs> well, I had some of my hummus, homemade hummus on some toast, and that was pretty life-changing. Even though I had it, like, oh. the fifth time this week, it was I, still pretty life-changing, as it always is every time. Beef, so, hey, good things are happening not, in the kitchen. hope that's not a euphemism. I've got no idea what that might mean. <laughs> Toys and beef. <laughs> that could America. be something really nasty. Uh, West Knights versus Veche. That's the game we're going to stream right now. Division C, top flight game. Both these teams won both of their first two games. And ain't that exciting? Because we've got uh, Far East from Russia playing oh. the Far West of the West. From all the way from America playing on a French server. Isn't that crazy? What an international game that we play. What an international tournament. All happening in the next few minutes, my friends. The War by Native League, yeah. I'm pretty excited anyway. I don't, know, I don't know what's going to happen, but I can give you some very nice Someone's got to lose, um, though. we got two winners someone has here, to lose. Well, we could have a draw. Lose. Winners or draw. But um, I've got from Dassey, who runs the betting thread, and people bet on this every week. Uh, it's, it's just, you know, pretend money, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's not that big a deal. That's I'm only good. six out of you everyone. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only six. without losing your home and your wife and your family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a good, uh, I think, for people, for gamblers, anonymous people to come and uh, bet on war by matches so they can enjoy the streams and have a good time. Maybe that'll get, get them really into it. I've got to say, I've got some virtual money riding on this match. Who you bet on West? I backed West Knights. And yes. Dasfi, Dasfi has told me that 100% of the bets for this match are West Knights. As you and should, said, Maybe people Vecchi should recognize that West Knights joined this tournament as the victors of America. Like, they are the pride they are. of our nation. <clears throat> They're winners of uh, UNAC. I think they won tournament. both UNACs? Jesus. That's quite possible, yeah. Um, they are the proper America. It used to be Balians back in the day. It was BKS at, at one point as well, but right now, it's, it's West Knights. And they're coming in here and they're, they're, uh, they're ripping heads. They over are the tearing Europe a new one. Only the, the way Americans Absolutely. know how. Rudely and without regard for your cultures or anything else. They're just coming and, in. And uh, with, some, with some sick cap play as well, from what I understand. Yes, West That's how you Knights, tear Europe and you want. That's how they excel with their laggy horses. <laughs> that 170 ping timed, perfectly timed, like, Lance versus Lance action. Lance in like three seconds before. No, it's not that bad. Wow, I know it's some of these people. Them. Heck. We got yeah. PPK in here. Uh, he's, an, he's an astounding. His ping doesn't seem too bad, so he's probably playing um, a little bit closer. I think I have the quite. worst ping out of all the Americans. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Check that <clears throat> out. But I'm not playing, no, uh, so it I don't think, matter. I think we must have some worse ping than that. Uh, I want to say we've got a couple more tweets coming in here as well. I don't want to give them a little mention. Oh, yes. Das there should again. be a lot of tweets for this match. Yeah, Dasvi again saying, I think WK got this. If they can get Lagstro or PPK Achilles duo rolling, or the PPK Achilles duo rolling, but beware of Alexander. Kinyaz and Panda for Veche, that's what he says. Beware. A cautionary tweet from Dasvi there. Is that the Bombs. I love Panda Panda? Uh, no, it's not. I think that's from. Oh, that's a spot, different I can't Panda. remember. It is, and uh, Veche are much more serious than that. They wouldn't uh, have such an absurd name. Although, uh, WK, well, a little so bit late for this match right now. in the world that we should know each one's name. <laughs> <laughs> should we? And there's a lot of people who a lot of people say that we should give up on the panda because Lulu. we spend so much money. We spend so much money trying to hey, save the panda, hey. and it's so hard. And it just it costs so much money, oh, and it's money well, which could be going to other species. At this point, you know, pandas now. No, the real reason for caring about pandas is not for any you know <clears> selfless. <throat> I care about animals. It's because it's a friggin' a resource now for China to rent out. Yeah, they rent out their pandas, yeah. don't they? Like, yeah, you have to pay a fee to have a panda at your zoo. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, I don't want it to reflect back on the pandas, you know, I don't, you know, I, if we can save the pandas, it's great. I don't, I don't want us to kill the pandas, but 
I think we should have a balanced approach and oh, perhaps we well, could be no. doing some good work on other species. WK is going to wreck some pandas if pandas playing. Because WK care not for World Wildlife Funds or anything else. They, they're going here to win. They're not swayed by cuteness. Nope. They'd much rather save, you know, an obscure species of uh, woodpecker or something. Which doesn't get the same kind of publicity. But could no. still do with a bit of help. In any case, um, Morty's coming in as well, Falms. Little tweet in saying WK to win 10 6 or 12 4. Little prediction from Forms there. Ten, Bit of a shout six. out. Thinking very highly of the Europeans that they'll get that many rounds. My favoritism is plain as day. I wear it on my sleeve. 16 0. You Go think America! <laughs> well, yeah, it's cool that we're going we're gonna to see Americans um, playing for the first time. I think WK are quite excited by it too. They, they do remind me constantly they want to get streamed, they want to be on the on the channel on the big stage also teams uh, messaging me right now I think this I mean, they is want the to be streamed. first time I've streamed with you in American match yeah regretfully yeah. I would love to do more Unix stuff as well but it's so hard with time difference and you know yes. connection and stuff but, but in any case right now we, we have it stream. oh my goodness we got Craddock in here <clears throat> we got Wiley Sly we even have Boogie Boogie lol <laughs> These are all people I know. I work with Craddock and Boogie on the Unix streams occasionally, and glad oh, to see right, yeah. here. Craddock came on Horse and Sword uh, yes, in the last episode, did. and it's a very, uh, a very nice, well-mannered guy. And also, he yeah. told me that WK are taking this very seriously. They got high ambitions. They expect themselves to reach Division B or perhaps even A is what they're aiming for. They're just gonna see how far they can take it in the WNL, and they're enjoying playing on the big stage. But you're a very serious team as well. Stage. God dang, no wonder they get all these WK in here. They, they figure out, they draw straws to see who has a show, who has the best thing. To see who actually goes in the, in and fights. Well, Boogie's in here with 184 ping right now, so... Yes, pretty, good lord. Some pretty serious ping. Good lord. I wish I could see this. Like... Uh, the people skipping around everywhere. I hope that's not the actual case. Do we actually no, think... visibly see the lag or no? Like... No, as, as a spectator, you don't, you don't really see any lag at all. You just see the, the badness that comes from it. <laughs> um, even if you're not watching like a game from China, I think it, it looks pretty smooth. Um, you might see some weird things from time to time, but I mean, even I mean, this ping is not even. It's not so insurmountable. No, not sir. Uh, certainly Wait. 120 in, in the, in the 120, 130 kind of region. It's like playable. Um, when you get above that. It takes a lot of getting used to and a lot of adjustment, but a lot of you still make things happen. But you know what? America's got a crystal ball. And we can see the future. And it's going to be a great and glorious match. Yeah, it is. I hope it is, anyway. Um, and we're talking about WK a lot, but Tell Veche me, not yeah, to be discounted Veche. here at all. Veche, uh, a Russian team. They are... I mean, they're kind of run by their spiritual leader, Alonzo, a.k.a. the Godfather. Famous for looking out for his players and his team. Um, perhaps stepping outside the rules on occasion. But there's no suggestion that he's done so, so far, in the WNL, nor his team. Don't, don't want to tarnish your, you'll find, you'll don't find don't your reputation. He was a subject to conversation on the last Horse and Sword, and Zaris mentioned that, yeah, well, perhaps sometimes he can step out of line. Just like the rest of us. He's invested and he cares about this game and he's a very passionate guy. So he certainly commands some respect in that sense. And he's done a great job with his Veche team. Uh, especially players like, as Dasfi mentioned, uh, Alexander coming from Heroes uh, in the last WNL, your favorite team. Oh yes, the Heroes. Are they still around? Uh, well, the players are still around as you can see Heroes are, but um, not as their own team. They're not. They've got a few different players in different teams. Actually, Griffin playing in... Yeah, Griffin was playing in... Uh, who is it right now? Playing in uh, Kuro, I believe. But uh, Alexander playing, and they've got a great, great talent in the form of Kinyaz and um, Panda, as as we mentioned. <clears throat> so they're certainly capable of, of uh, stopping WK's run here. I think it's perfectly feasible. Yeah, yeah. Betsy. And they play with some pretty high pings themselves. I mean, uh, coming from Russia, some of them are pretty far east. Getting up to the hundreds, at least. 
It's perfectly, perfectly uh, possible that they can have a hard time here. But obviously their pings are on the whole going to be a lot lower. Good lord, them, them US pings. <laughs> They're crazy, yeah. They are crazy high, that's sad. And Craddock mentioned specifically on Horse and Sword, he said that they feel like the ping has less of an effect on the open maps, where they've got more chance to maneuver and they feel like tactics come more into play. On the closed maps, they think that uh, the, the, the low ping is, or the high ping is even, it's pretty punishing for melee. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, specifically Valoran plays out and if we have <clears throat> like a more even um, kind of score into the second map or if one of the teams has to make up for a deficit. We're going to play out pretty interestingly, I think. I'm excited. Oh, Referee uh, is going to be Grenade as well. Turkish player. Cool Shout to have him, to him in referees. here. Definitely. And towards the admins as well. Um, they're keeping the tables very up to date. With all the logs of the matches and the fixtures and stuff. It's great if you want to have a little just browse around the um, WNL forum. You've just got all the up to date stuff and you can just go, oh, you can see, oh, they played them in that week and they lost to them and got the screenshots and you can see who was playing well, who's playing badly. It's really just a nice little forum to go around. Make sure you check that out. Definitely. Be part of this. It's all community driven after all. And he is, yeah. Well, also sponsor driven now. A little shout out to Freaky. Want to let them know that we're appreciative of their sponsorship for the tournament. Did you get your shirt last? I did, yeah. Well, are, are I tweeted it as well. It? I'm not wearing it right now. I wore it yesterday, and I don't want just. What? We re wear anymore. that thing. Bust it out of the dirty hamper last. I'm gonna. Oh, I, I'm saving it for Horse and Sword. Ah, I see. Uh, well, you definitely will see it. You better press Whatever, that horse. shirt. <laughs> press it. <laughs> Wish I owned a press. You should get an iron. I have an iron, but I'm not gonna iron. I don't iron stuff. You gotta iron the share for sword for the horse and sword. What with my low resolution webcam, it's not gonna no one's gonna realize. <laughs> I'd be dressing up. No, but it's cool, it's uh, freaky were very helpful. The first one didn't come, they sent me another one. So that's really cool that of them. That's very uh, nice. I do have another little special shout-out. You know shout someone out to... someone in the in the pretend... I'm sorry, do your shout out. A little special shout out to um Deacon and Cleric, our little warband twins there from A. It's their birthday today. So I want to give them a little shout out. Say happy birthday oh to those guys. Oh my god, I don't have a birthday song. It's copywritten anyway, but hey, happy is, birthday. Is the happy Jim. birthday song? Is that, happy is that birthday copywritten? is copywritten. This is. is a thing in restaurants. Like, I've worked in a few restaurants now, and everyone has its own little like jingle specifically for the restaurant because you can. Is it, is it global ones or just in America? What do you mean? Like, is it copyrighted around the world or just in America? Because it's like a well, song in loads of different languages. it's copyrighted somewhere, it's copyrighted everywhere, Lust. What? Yeah, that's not a thing. No, you can have a national copyright, I think. Maybe. But all I know is you can't sing Happy Birthday at a restaurant because it's copyrighted. So you gotta do some stupid-ass jingle. It's stupider. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that is, that's some ridiculous to me, to be, a, to be fair. But, uh, I'll sing one either. for them if they want me to. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I think they've already taken up far too much attention, obviously. Well, not, that, not that they don't deserve it. We should they are celebrate the births of guys. some of the exemplary players in the community. That's not enough time yeah. at all. They certainly are exemplary. Um, and this match is going to be exemplary of the might of the USA. Well, yeah, perhaps it this will be. This match settles the Ukraine issue. You heard it here. Well, that's not, not going that far, I don't know. I don't want to... Don't um, upset Putin. I don't want to push the reach of the game. It's, it's uh, earth it's, shattering. It, officially, it's <laughs> just uh, it's just for points, just for WNL points. <laughs> and I get those Division C promotions. And for a lot of fake virtual betting. Oh god, yeah, that, that's a very significant. Quite yeah. an upset if bet you win. All those virtual wallets will be even more worthless. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've put quite a pretty big stake in up in uh, what I put on this. Four hundred of my virtual golds. Gold, gold pieces of eight. So you start, you start with a set amount, and it's at the end of the tournament, whoever's the richest better. Yeah, I start with a thousand. I double. Who's it winning the betting? Who's like the most accurate guy? I feel like I'm winning it like overall, but I'm actually technically not I'm winning sure it overall. I'm sure you feel like you're winning it last, <laughs> but who's actually winning? Who's actually winning? I'll tell you right technically now. Technically winning, uh... the best kind of winning. Right. I mean, really, if you feel like you're winning yourself, that is the best kind. If you if you feel yourself the victor. No one can defeat me in, in that sense. No one except but yourself. Technically, if you're gonna but be. But nonetheless! Yeah, for the second oh time. Oh my god, I think it's happening! 
Hold on to your British people. America versus Russia in Warband. I think they said it's gonna be live. I think it's live, dude. Run that map intro. And we're live! Venor's winning the betting thread! <gasps> there you go. Velen Bob. Alright, WK pushing on. Betsy, oh yeah, WK with that American aggression, just going right at it. Getting <laughs> straight down that wine alley. Uh, setups here, only one cat for WK, three for Vecchi. Interesting stuff here. Already seeing the diversions, and well, what you thought WK, uh, WK strength would lie in Cav is actually. Only just playing the one. I feel like another problem here for WK playing in this tournament, uh, other than the ping, is the fact that it's, it's so much harder to get range. I'm gonna bring up the ping just to get a gander at what the situation's like. Who's sitting at worst? Poor Craddock is actually Boogie and Craddock. The st the <laughs> these gentlemen the are sitting things, at yeah. the worst. But I, I, w I want to mention as well, like it's it's not just the fact that they have high ping. It's really hard for them to arrange matches and training matches with other teams. Uh, it's, it's a pretty rough ride um, as an American they, team playing. Uh, WK's already trained with the best of the best in the US. Fair, fair comment. But, I mean, if they're only playing like two training matches a week, but Vecchio could be playing, like other teams, even in Division C, are playing up to like five, six a week even. It'll make a difference, even if, even if these players do have experience and they're playing a lot of public. They are playing under European roles too, after all. Yeah. Medium speed, that's obviously going to be a factor. Black spawns up in the marketplace, and that's a long way away from WK. It's a rough spawn for them. I do want to mention as well that Alonso's playing, and he doesn't often play. He's the spiritual leader and the godfather, but doesn't often play in the flesh. He had to step in into this flesh. match. Yeah, he stepped in at serious time. As a matter of pride, he's got to take down these Americans. Boogie sitting and, on his uh, horse at the flag, WK. Betcha coming in through the tunnel, Boogie's scouting out already, and, well, WK gonna try and hold them in this tunnel. They could get them, they could have them in a serious lockdown here if they can't, if Betcha can't penetrate and move out the store. They're just gonna run into them, though. WK engaging him in the fight right now, Kinyaz moves out, finds some space for his crossbow, actually, uh, really nice move here from Betcha, oh. spreading out, pushing into WK, and finding space for the archers. Wisely comes in to, to, to take him out. Do be the first casualty, credit goes down here as well, as Chromium picking up a double kill for the wow, first, Wow, uh, eating match. up WK. Victoria's push up bringing them down. And Veche gonna take this first round. Looks like seven players against uh, just two remaining of WK right now. And uh, nice nice from Gelden there putting a kill back. Or two even. Just the one. PPK running for his life. Yeah, oh, he's hiding it out a little though. <laughs> oh yes. Lovely, yeah, brings down um for sure. and Victoria's on low health here as well. He could get another kill, but I think the flag is gonna go to Veche no matter what happens and uh, they're gonna take the round too. Victorious uh, nervous to drop his block here as PPK does eventually go down to, to Victorious's miniature cleaver there. And wow. Betsy annihilating WK. Not a good first Lo performance. Lots of people, lots of betters are, are quaking in their boots right now as <laughs> Betsy put in a pretty solid performance in that first round. Chromian and Victorious especially both picking up three kills each. And WKJ just looked a bit weaker in the, the melee fight overall. It's, uh, as Kodak mentioned, it could be the ping. It could be part of the issue. Could be nerves yeah, on the international stage. Could be, yeah, but what we see is immediately is WK switching up. They're going straight into the alleyway here, into the tunnelway here. And I'd love to see this. I'd love to see a team, as the, the moment something doesn't work, they do something else straight away. Betchi have gone up the wine alley. I think Pushok scouted out, Betchi. Yeah, Pushok scouted out WK right now. But and, they um, come up on an empty alley. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They turn the corner it... with blood. They want blood, but there is sadly just empty air out there. I just switched up two. Uh, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty surprised to see WK not taking two cab here, to be honest. Maybe they have a problem with the cab? I don't know. Lags. Always lags. Lag strobe. Always lag, yeah. Lagging behind as they come into the tower here. They do have Udo on a solid around 100 ping, and that's, that's pretty good for them. 
I want to mention as well that I WK, think I think they're getting... complete switch in, in sides right now. Both teams just kind of walked and made themselves tired. Yeah. Uh, WK, WK just taking the tower right now. Pretty good position to hold, actually, the tower. Uh, doesn't give you too much, but we're pretty close to all the action and the, and the flags. You can go down into the tunnel, round up the back stairs, the front stairs. Uh, you have a little firing spot as well to some positions, into some transitory positions. So it's pretty nice. I think wow. WK getting a bit of help from um, Apis Europa this... as well. The the scene leaders. How is got, Apis Europa um, helping them? I think with like you know knowledge of teams and uh, perhaps some strategies, perhaps maps they're not familiar with, various different That's aspects cool. of, the, of the, the European the scene. The best I think. of Europe respects the best of the US. Yeah, I think they're having a bit of contact as well. Oh, lovely nice yeah, early shot from uh, Lag Show. Taking out a threat victorious as well there because um, he had a, a pretty nice round last round. WK just running all around the map. They searching for kills, Vecchi. A little yeah, off by all this now. aggression. As Vecchi backing off, Kenya is desperately running away, trying to find himself at a shooting position here. And only one archer for either side. WK, um, a bit nervous to go down against all this cav. They don't want to go straight down this uh, slope. They do it's have a their slippery slope, but to the they're right. going down it. And uh, I think pushed up against a, a wall right now by Vecchi is. Uh, they're really finding hard time finding space without are shoring up their uh, cab numbers. And lag by hanging together so hard. Yeah, they're doing pretty well actually. They're just pulling this fight and getting some damage done. Uh, trying to shut down Kenya, so they say it's a threat. Brilliant catch-offs from Bugo, takes out the, uh, the range right there. No rangers left for the Vecchi right now. Chromium and picking up kills for the Russians though. Uh, Udo pulls on back, Chromium with his second kill and his fifth kill of the set so far. Udo with a double kill though. I think WK gonna run away with this. Five players against four. We're seeing more than we expected and WK we can just take this round now. Not over yet though. Chromium is still alive. He's still up fighting for his team. Same brings down Juve, but Kralak takes on Harling in the meantime. Three I think overall Vecchi there's against... more health on the side. Oh my god, Vecchi. Go back and forth here, but Udo with a wonderful round here, taking four kills. Just like, just um... The cab player Udo. left here for, for Vecchi. Udo's of kills. Right, nice little slash off on Lagstro, but... I think it might be a bit too little too late. Oh, oh Lagstro oh, kills himself! And that's a bit of a choke. Oh, it's, now, it's now one on two, and Vippy, if he can get into this, and if, if he can dismount, they're he's so injured, here. he could just ram the horses and get killed. He's, he's, got, he's, got his mount, he's got his mount of fight, but he's taking too long about it. I think they can just hold their shields right now if they need to do so. It's going to get involved. Uh, I think they're just going to hold their shields. And, I think and Udo wants one more kill to his name. Uh, Vibby... oh, oh, my yeah, God! Kratok with there. the faith in Udo to pull that off. I think Vibby had a chance there if he just moved in a little bit faster and, and recognized the situation. Oodles of work Brilliant play from Oodle there. Yeah. Uh, guy showing that he's still capable, even with that. Um, well, compared to his team relatively low ping, but actually pretty damn high ping. And yeah, nice, nice work getting five kills in that round. Americans picking up some nice armor now as well. Don't get that Swadian snowball train rolling. And they're rolling right on. These guys are keeping on the run. They're just trying to find yeah. Vecchi and fighting it out. Vecchi, I think they would grown wise to this. And the cab, of, the cab of Vecchi in that round, pretty ineffective, rendered fairly useless by the good all-park usage of the, the WK players. I think they're not just um, capable on open maps or, or with cab. They're pretty solid infantry as well. This is a pretty solid game, man. They're fighting tooth and nail for these rounds. Yeah, very close stuff. I feel like Vivi could have played that out a little bit better as well if it had a bit more urgency about the flag. Could have given Vecchi a better chance there. But against Udo playing like that, what are you going to do anyway? Wonderful stuff from the American. <laughs> Udo as well, um, quite respected even in European scenes for his dueling prowess. I think that's one of the reasons they have pretty good ties with Abyssero Pi. And they know Udo quite well as a, a top tier duelist. I think Chromian and, and crew are thinking about where to go here. I don't know if they're cornered or just moving with trepidation because WK are just showing so much, so much aggression. <laughs> yeah, what well, WK have? They did um, stop short of pushing right into Vecchi there's Vecchi did back off and spread off and spread out in their spawn. WK now moving, now moving back towards their own spawn, I think, and uh, perhaps trying to get into good positions with the flags. Very sensible move, I think. Making sure that if it spawns up in the rat market, they're going to be there uh, straight on the scene. It's going to spawn in just a few seconds now. <laughs> and it spawns right where Vecchi, Vecchi turning right back around. Oh, yeah, WK might regret running away from it this time, but um, they might. I think they might approach from the tunnels here. They 
Are they going to go through the mid, mid line, I think, as well? Perhaps send, send thumb through tunnels. Looks like Lakshra's going to go down there. The rest are going to go through the mid tower. Um, Veggie's set up pretty well right now. They've got uh, decent archer spreads. Chromian, well, facing the back of Born at the back of the wall for some reason. I don't know what he's doing over there. Uh, seems to be asleep. Pinyas, oh, they brought the hatching only you know, one archer, so he can't have too much of a spread. Oh, Chromian disconnected, Whoa, Chromian so that's, disconnected. Uh, that's a big loss. Yeah, that's a big loss for, 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 for Veggie there. And West Knight's coming in now, immediately ring up Alonso, causing some problems. Kinyaz gets a uh, hit off uh, on a WK player, though, in the meantime. WK w moving in unison. Oh my god. Another headshot from Nagstra as well, showing, this, showing why he's a key player. PPK is picked up the. So is why he's like Veggie fighting back in this melee fight, uh, taking advantage now six players to five. And uh, he's a pre pretty nice uh, infantry team. Oh, yeah, Victoria's coming dude, in. stabbing Oodle in the back. Not what he needs. Yeah, and Victoria's been, been causing problems already for the WK players. Kind of moves in to help his teammates out. Loses his shield though and unable to manually block against Saint. Boogie Oodle fighting against two now. not been able to do much on his horse. Oh, brilliant play from Oodle though. He comes in, gets the first kill. Does go down to Hireling. Boogie's still up. So is Lagstro. Against uh, four Veggie players. Ooh, Lovely kill nice from Boogie and Lagstro. They put it back against two against two here. The round is incredibly close. Veggie had the fly higher flag. They've got to um, take initiative here and they've got to stop moving in now, uh, WK. They can't let Veggie sit on this flag until the end of the round. Where is Boogie's backup? Yeah, Lagstro needs to come in. They've got to be more aggressive here. Uh, Lagstro just. Oh, him, Boogie think. escapes on his horse. He realizes yeah, it was too tough. It. But now he's forsaken the flag. He's forsaken. Yeah. Lagstro has it. Yeah, oh, oh Boogie comes in. back! Oh, well, oh my god! Look at Vivi's off the flag. Vivi, if Vivi dismounts, he can win the round now, but does he, even, does he know to do it? He doesn't know to do it. Oh, Vivi! Vivi oh, unaware Vibby. of what he needs to do to win. Vibby he can't contest the given, flag. He's not contesting now it. Given, he's now given the round away, and uh, it's absolutely shocking oh, to see Oh, but he's ran, running him over. He's doing a lot of work here. He's got no idea how to play this out, and he, he showed it in, someone, in two rounds in a row here. Someone let Vivi know. Actually, don't! Oh. America takes the round! <laughs> Go America! Well, it's, it's so frustrating to see because, um, <laughs> I mean, it, 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 wants to, it, it breaks the tension because just want, you want Vegeta to do their homework because they show this. They have, they have to do the same in a match against Loyalty, which I stream with uh, Deacon Barry, the birthday boy. Um, Vegeta and Loyalty both showed just terrible flag knowledge and they didn't understand how to play the flags or what to do around the flags. Bibli showing it there once again. And it, it, he had the round guaranteed one. All he had to do was just dismount on yes, the flag there. Yes, he just had to contest the flag and he would have won from flag. But he did it! Although I love how and, Boogie um, ditched the flag and then came, just came falling back on <laughs> it. Well, it's brilliant from Lagstro to get that sort of last kill off on Hyling as well on that 2v2. If, if they hadn't got him down, they wouldn't have won the round. But it's just, it's it's all that it's from ignorance of Vecce. Yeah, Vecce threw it away from the fight and then on to the flag f uh, cont contest. Contestation? Is that a friggin' word? Uh, Whatever. From yeah. Contesting the flag. There you go. Also, the drop, that would have been a factor. Oh, Victorious, see running. He's within range. Vivi coming in. Rearing over Wily Sly over here. Not done Wily Sly. He has picks off uh, Lagstra as well, separated from the pack in those tunnels. And now the rest of the Vecchi force is going to join the fight. Um, Boogie causing WK problems, the Gelden court, jumping walls. Really hard place right now, is Vecchi going to burst out, start shooting out a lovely little shot from Kinyaz there as well. And Vecchi are getting the better of these fights in a lot of cases. Uh, Victorious brings down Gelden and WK perhaps getting a little bit ahead of themselves right now. Uh, Juve does, does take Chromium down, but Kinyaz picks off Juve immediately. And Vecchi with a pretty strong advantage in this round. Udo doing great work in the melee fight though, as we've come to be have to see from him. Wiley Sly takes down Alonso too and bring it even, bring it even actually taking advantage now. Five players to three now as Udo gets a double kill and Udo just been Udo's instrumental in these melee fights. WK Udo's says, bleeding Hiling. hard for America. That's a, that's red, white, and blue, that blood. Hiling gets overwhelmed. <laughs> Maybe in King, yes. Uh, fighting out in the tunnels. Uh, flag spawns. Not that's of any relevance to Vecchi whatsoever. Uh, the WK oh, players getting injured, the heck broken. out of there. These guys want chasing. To up the bitchy players right now. That's right, we're chasing the Ruskies down. Oh, Kyle gets a bit ahead of himself. Uh, there's a jumping all pike slash, which Kinyas reacts to by slash, uh, with a slash in the face. But Kinyas is going to get out, I think, right now. Uh, Can he do it, though? They're see, very injured. Oh, we see, we see Bibi dismounting number. and trying to raise the flag. Down goes Kinyas. Bibi, you, you displayed already pretty poor knowledge of the flag mechanics. You now uh, dismounting and trying to raise a flag against five people. Hey, he's making up for with, last round. Go, baby. With, with you a, can't judge a man for his past forever, Lust. 
He's got a minute and 20 seconds left. It's not going to work. He's got to stay alive for a minute and 20 seconds or kill all of these players. He'll do one of either. He's trying. Maybe doing do something. Oh, he's getting spammed. Neither spam. of neither. The down he goes. And Udo gets another kill. 11-2 is the score for Udo here. Finishing off 3-1. The overall score for West Knights. Absolute uh, fantastic. Absolute. What? Is he the best ping on West Knights? He is. is uh, That's no surprise. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I, power. I, don't, I wouldn't put it all down to the ping. Um, I'd, be, I'd be careful of doing that because he's a very competent, competent infantry player. And uh, I think even, even in the American scene, he does pretty damn well in those melee fights. Well, I think America's doing pretty damn well. I'm yeah, I think they are. National uh, pride it's, here. It's hard to see, though, as you know, that it could have been so easily 2-2. Two -two. Um, Betcha could have held off that, that round if Vibi only answer the flag properly and, and this is like this is an old game right now i mentioned that in the vetchy versus loyalty stream this is an old game it's it's four years old now mount blade warband <laughs> it's time for know, someone you, you shouldn't you should learn the mechanics like well most most teams know them but for some reason like vetchy have not picked them up learn and the it's, game it's, noob but the second week in a row it's been an issue for vetchy uh, i hope they're watching the streams because they they should do their research here i think it's a big issue for them, and they're, they're throwing away rounds because of it. Yeah, it would be a tie right now had they not but, uh, botched that round completely. A little tweet from Forms here as well saying, uh, Oddle, misspelled Oodle, um, so That's pretty okay. disrespectful, but okay. it does say Oddle is my hero, hashtag fangirl. Not the best fangirl if you can't actually spell uh, the name right, the but <laughs> I mean, you know, you can work well, on that. Then again, you know, a lot of like. The the celebrity chasers or mu music, what is it called? The ladies that go to follow musicians all around. Bangles, maybe no. But uh, they of they oftentimes don't Groupie. even know the lyrics. Groupies, yeah, they don't even know the lyrics to the songs, you know. But they still follow oh, so the fame. lyrics. And that's what that's what Fomes is doing. They can spell the name of the band right though. <laughs> <laughs> you give them too much credit sometimes. <laughs> you get cool gaming gross groupies. No, I get nice people though that give me nice messages and like what I do, and that means the world. So. That's cool, yeah. I got a lot. I got too many MBTV groupies. Girls. Oh, you gotta offend them. I'm very flattered. I'm very flattered, but I mean, I'm professional. Please show some respect and sh and some restraint, more importantly. Show some respect. Some of the things you've been, some of the things you've been sending me are frankly filth. <laughs> I won't put up with any more. Clutching my inbox. <laughs> Those images. Disgusting. Joe, restraint no, and joking. respect and meet lust in the back room after these matches. Yeah, I'm only joking. Obviously, keep them coming. <laughs> That's what lust does! <laughs> but, yeah, he knows how to please. But either way, America's pleasing <laughs> me much greatly. They're doing so effing well. Oodle's really carrying the again. team on his back, man. He is, yeah. Been, He's got... That's been huge in this match. He's been, absolutely huge. Many days in the gym on back. <laughs> Doing them deadlifts. In the dojo. We're now. Deathline Dave. Tweeting from Bliv as well, Big Bliv, aka, says Oodle Beast Mode, Beast Inf in both Div C and B. Hashtag Double L3, hashtag Big Oodle. I sense there's a a little bit of uh R in here from Big Bliv. <laughs> it was mentioned to me before that he, he is slightly wound up sometimes when we give uh, too much praise to the infantry in the lower divisions. Oh, wait, I think, is it live? It is live, yeah. Let's, get not, the game, let's get right in here. This game's too good to so lose some We don't miss anything yet. Not miss too much. WK just taking the tower and actually moving forward towards the opposite spawn. A little bit, a little bit of a flip round as well, yeah, as um, we're actually going to the wine alley and towards the spawn of WK. Oh, no I'm eventually going to be hoping to get pick up 2-2 two, two, uh, in this set. They don't want to go down 6-2. No, that would be uh, Especially quite since a WK are feeling confident on the open maps, especially. Betchy, if they seek to do well, they should do their best here, where WK is their weakest. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I'm I'm always tempted to send them a PM like after this match just about the flags and just explaining it and just saying like come on, step it up. <laughs> Do they have a team twi Twitter? Twitter. No, they don't. They they're quite lacking in that area. I'm sure Alonso can set one up though. Someone. Set a little it up picture of the Godfather him. in there. Be great. I'd love to see them on Twitter. Has Alonso himself been doing well? Um, 
Not especially, to be honest. But he's been providing the moral support, which is crucial to the team. He's actually uh, subbed out now, uh, I think. Uh, I'm not sure who came in. I think it's Siri Bog that's coming in, actually. Siri Bog. Oh, wow. The flag spawns. I WK no. have eons to set up here. Oh, yeah, but they're the not. Market, they're, no, they're not. Well, they're going to set up a little bit in a bit more of a full position. Uh, Virtually, in the meantime, I'm going to try and raise that ladder and get no. up around the side. I know WK. what they're doing. They're doing what America's best at violence. <laughs> w, w, why is I trying to hold him off on this ladder? But, um, risking getting shot in the face there by Victorious. Got to play it cool here. Both oh, teams wait. taking two arches this time. There's fighting and WK, already yeah. going on. WK, WK messing up, but uh, Vetch is on this flag. Dango is crumbling already. Uh, Pusher comes in to help out uh, in the fight, but you know, it was to find space to really maneuver here and actually taking a lot of hits already. Almost goes down there. Um, Harding loses his life to Blackshot as well, and WK with a, a good early advantage in this round. Yeldon coming into King Yaz. Oh, but does go down Ooh, to Ooh, Vecchi bringing efforts. it back. Uh, of the Vecchi Cav. Back to 6-6 six, six now, and uh, pretty even stuff. Vecchi finding the WK players, I them and taking them down too. In the meantime, PPK 1.7 does take down Victorious. WK here, though. isolating themselves. Yeah, it seems YSI needs support here. Actually going to get... He's uh, getting support. Somewhere. Oodle's coming. Oh, a team kill from Lagstro finishes them off. Oodle comes in though and gets an early kill off against Saint. Oodle doing what Oodle pike. does best, murdering fools. Trying to pike on these players here, but oh, with that too much length, is not able to duel very well against Kenyaz. Takes an early hit there. Four against four here in a really close round. Very exciting stuff. Oh, nice Oodle goes work, down. Kinyaz it's time for the rest of WK to carry on. It's good play from the Vecchi players, and Kenyaz has been awesome this round so far, taking three kills. Cutting up America left, right, center. Lagstro and Boogie, the remaining players of WK. The flag is higher for neither team. Vibby just mounts and starts to raise it. Boogie's going to get on there. We could have a round draw here. If, if Boogie can, can stay alive for three seconds, it oh, does go down there. Oh, Boogie dies in it's an too instant. Late for Lagstro to get on the flag and Vibby's going to raise it yeah. in that round. And Vibby's taking the first round this, in the second set. And um, that's one, one they needed to get, I think, definitely. They didn't want to go down 7-1. That could have been the worst thing that happened to them. And... Um, what, what one thing I find absolutely fascinating here is that Vecchi know how to to stun with overheads from from like pole arms, like which is something which has come around in I don't know the past like year or so or year and a half. But they don't know the flag mechanics. Like, where's the continuity there? Where's the consistency? Oh wow! WK take both teams ran for it, but WK sees the tower. Yeah, they're gonna push right forward. They oh, don't want us around. WK gonna right try to get away. straight to the into the Fidel vegetable. Fidel has to catch up. I think WK is pushing too hard. He's trying. Fidel coming yeah, up. Yeah, like show. I mean, it's the same thing happened in in the last round. He got left behind too far and uh, just let out the action. Veggie Cav gonna come in from the back here. This is gonna could be devastating for WK if they're not ready for it. They they are prepared though. Kind of eyes them up and, and sees them coming. Geld is real there deep the in there. Yeah, fighting out on those market stalls, kicking apples and stuff. Left, right, and center. Wow, I rarely uh, see fighting down health. here is pretty freaking cool. Kill comes in from um, Kenyas for the first one, but Juvie pulls on back. Harling giving Vecchi the advantage once more. Oh, Vecchi yeah, eating like WK up WK in, in this market. Uh, I'm concerned that WK not playing for their strength right now. They're down to three players against uh, the seven remaining Vecchi. Uh, it's going to be too hard for them. Kenyas having a whale of a time right now. Uh, Stripper goes down, but Pushok brings down Juve, and it's just Blackshot reports again. Fidel at the end. Look at all those Vecchi coming at you, Fidel. It's over. It's over. Yeah, Blackshot, you, you're a little, bit far, a little bit too far away, I think. The well, fight. the team left uh, him. Jesus. Goes to, the, goes to the kick there, but gets kicked himself. <laughs> kicked, but then wall slashed. Uh, does go down eventually to Saints' efforts. And, well, Kinyas picking up a 6-0 score already in the first two rounds of this set. Doing fantastic Kinyas, work for his team. The Oodle of Russia. I want to see these two go at it. <laughs> the Hoodle of Russia. Yes! <laughs> okay. Um, Vecchi evening up though. It's out 3-3 and there goes the, the lead for the West Knights. Vecchi is showing that they're not going to be brushed aside by the Americans here. They most certainly will not. The Americans have a tough match here. Yeah, Stribble comes in. Gets himself a kill as well. Doing okay. I root for him, but they got to they they... do well and make me proud. Well, interestingly, the actual... the. I mean, the big players from Victorious and Chromian, um, for Vecchi this is, not picking up kills, uh, not picking up any kills in the first two sets, in spite of their team wins. Oh, is Kenya's that Kenya's the third? From a yeah, long line know. of his distinguished Kenya's? Perhaps, yeah. Or, well, from three. <laughs> Who would have thought? 
Is that it's three a long line? Maybe it is. That's pretty long. That's three generations. <laughs> I think if you if you've met the first person in the line, it's not that long of a line. If the, oh, the last he gets a good little shot person. actually. He had something. King Yaz did. Yep, King Yaz did. The third, not the yeah, second. Yeah, he's hurt, hurt strong. <laughs> I wonder if there is a second. Perhaps it's the same person, just They'll reincarnating himself, out. reinventing himself, getting a makeover. Reborn Kenyas. Changing that face code. Um, WK walking out. Yeah, they're getting peppered here. They're taking a bit of damage. Key player is already at half health, but they're going anyway. They survive. Interesting from WK as well. They had taken all oh, that down, and they, they got no range players now. They just, all they can do really now is just charge forward. Without range players, that's your only option. That's what um, they've been doing. It's worked for them somewhat. Well, not in this set so far, as They're looking a bit rough in this game as well. Dango's Gallon, Dango's Wire Slide to Chromium and Saint, and uh, WK just a bit pushed back and harassed by these Vetri right now. Udo does pull one back, but goes down himself. Whoa, to higher lane with a triple! Messing up these Americans right now. Brilliant play from the Russian. Uh, also messing up Boogie's horse. He wants to get his fourth kill of the round here. Boogie. Oh, Boogie walking through many pieces, Boogie uh, and down amongst Hiling all these people. So right now, and he, Hiling does get it. Brilliant play there, taking a 6 1 score. That's the America the spirit. Player. You kick him in the face, you know you're dead. Just kick him. <laughs> let him know. Oh, the corpse kick, yeah. That's brutal. Wow, this whole round Touch was BM. brutal. Oh, wait, no, there's still one left. This whole set. Now, Vetri take the lead. Uh, it's going to be four, four rounds of three, and we've got a serious match on tonight. I'm hyped. Guys, tweet in. Tell us what's going to happen in the remainder of this match. Hashtag WNL3. Tweet at me at Captain Lust. In the meantime, we've got one round left of this map. Iman, oh. tell me what you think you, Tell me what you think is going to happen. Um, I think Vetri Rich. I mean, I see their horses. I see their armor. They've pretty much swept everything. It's going to take a miracle for WK. But you know what? Miracles do happen because God smiles on the USA. <laughs> God bless America! One thing to mention as well here from Vetri is a lot of them have looted miniature cleavers. And they are so devastating against Rodox. I mean, Rodox is just... Um, are especially an especially lightly armored faction anyway. Uh, they don't they can't get like a good leather armor medium tier. And Whoa, I think Vetchi uh, are against, hunting now. Against Magic Cleavers, they're just gonna get beaten up, I think. Vetchi are, are looking for WK. This this yeah, WK is really falling apart here. No longer are they the brave Americans, but I, I think they're realizing they're gonna have to um, put the focus on the open map, try and win out there. It's gonna be hard, especially if Vetchi um bring in Alexander. If he's present. The Great. Alexander the Great, yeah. He's a great Cav player. And it was pretty key for them in uh, the match against Loyalty. As we see, um, WK not going to push in this round. They are going to hold back a little bit. They've actually taken a, a second Cav here. Gelden mounting up. Not having a great time as infantry there. Trying Vecchi something different. Might as well. be too late though. Vecchi are pretty mailed up. I'm curious about why uh, WK... I haven't taken more than one archer yet as well. I don't know. Perhaps they don't like shooting on the, the high ping. I feel like that is pretty heavily affected by it. Baxter's done pretty well though so far. Not perhaps in this set, but in the last set he's getting some nice headshots and some, some key moments. With respect to him. Black spawns, it's back in uh, what, the WK spawn. But El Extra is a pretty sick archer in the WK. He is, yeah. Yes, he's done great work. I don't yeah, know. Some lag, sick lag might be might be hindering him here. Hindering. Yeah, that's how you say that. Hindering, yeah. Probably could be a little bit. Well, I mean, it's bound to be uh, to an extent, but... I mean, they come into the, come into the tournament for knowing that, and it's uh, it's part of the team. Gotta work around it, okay. Fidel. And In now, comes Vecchi, and... Uh, WK is... Oh, they're pushing forward. They want to hold this off, but Vecchi coming from behind yeah. as well. It's actually it's actually quite a nice move. They, they've seen the Vecchi split, and they decide to push one side, which I think is a really nice move. PPK 1.7 brings down Chromium, and this is great from WK so far. Ulysses and Hiling The as well, rest and, of uh, Vecchi arrived, but too late. They've lost many yeah. a man. Fantastic initiative here from WK. Um, really taking advantage of the, of the Vecchi split. Uh, the rest of the Vecchi players do come in now, now and it's, it's still hard for Vecchi to deal with. Udo with a wonderful backslash, though, brings down Saint. Double kill from Udo takes down Kinyas as well. And Udo's okay, back! Udo's back, round. baby! Oh, Udo. He's just got bloodlust. He's, he's killing everyone. Udo's killing everyone! Takes down Shribog and WK in fantastic fashion. Demolish Vecchi both tactically and individually in this round. Fantastic play from Udo. And Dango's moving to Gelden. Great work and 4 4 the final score in the first map. Thrilling stuff. Wow, America bringing it back. Never count them out. And well, there you have it.
all square going into Frosty Battle. Anything could happen. Anything can happen. Wow, this is exciting. This is one of the best matches ever. I'm sick hyped. Let's see. And what uh, have to say about this? Who's gonna win? That's <laughs> what tweets in saying. I wonder what Eman will call WK next. Sons of Uncle Sam. <laughs> That's a good a, one. I didn't think about that. <laughs> shout, in, shout out to your patriotism. Ah, uh, yes. Dang it. Who is the son of Sam? That's what the reference is to. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, you know, WK aren't all American. That should be said. They are a North American team, but they have Canadian players. I don't know what language they speak, actually. I, I assume it's some form of American. Some um, form of American? What the other. heck does that mean? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, is there a common language between Canada and the US? I don't yeah. know about these North American things. English! <laughs> American English, by the way. So easily baited. Oh, yeah. I fell for that, actually. I didn't even think about it. I was too busy thinking French about Canadians what I'm going to well. call them next. <laughs> <laughs> they're French Canadians as well, right? But I don't know if there are any in WK. Um, but yeah, it, it's, uh, it's unfair to the Canadian players in WK, I think, to single them out as an American team. They're an NA team. NA team, From yeah. America. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> this match is really off the chain. It's really amazing. It is, yeah. 4-4. Four, four. Nice to have a, a bit of an even game. Uh, long lost. Because we've been having a lot of one-sided stuff going on here, as uh, certainly in, in the streams this week. The last one, Irish Rebels, pretty systematically dismantled the Nord. Sorry if that was a spoiler there. Uh, if you were going to watch it later. This is not a spoiler-free zone. If you want to watch it later, you can watch both later. And it looks like we're going to be getting into the game. Pretty soon here. Yep, both teams eager to see this one out. They are both amped, as are we. Yeah. Yeah, I really am. And I think, um, I gotta say, Vecchi putting a nice performance in that second set. Once again, having having us trembling in our boots for the loss of our virtual coins. The whole scene supporting WK so right now. So much bet for Vecchi. Have faith in Vecchi, people. Uh, well, I think Vecchi have they've signed a few critics so far, but. On the open map, this is where WK really feel confident, and it's going to be half of Vegeta to match them. Vegeta to match, uh, match them here, I think. Looks like Alexander might be absent as well, and that could be a really big loss for them. In any case, they're going to be fighting it out. But you are an experienced team. I like, I'll certainly see them, can certainly see them taking uh, a few rounds here and possibly even winning. Anything could happen right now. Hashtag Warband, hashtag Esports. I can't wait to get into the game. Um, Are you, you see, ready, Vecchi? Asks the referee. I just saw, uh, just saw referee. WK. I just saw WK before uh, playing on a new knack. Who are their sort of key cav that are really going to be messing up the likes of Vecchi, do you think? Um, well, Boogie, unfortunately, has not had a very good showing on cav. He's not been playing so well so far, but I mean, perhaps when some of the other players mount up, like Wiley Sly, I know is pretty pretty big calf. Well, yeah, Wiley Sly, I'm sure will mount up. I think he was a definitive player for WK in the UNAC tournaments, but I don't know. I'm just not seeing that the calf work. I don't even think WK is relying on their calf. They're doing a whole lot of melee. That's really what they're banking things on. But on Frosty we'll Battle, see. yeah, it's a different kind of map. See, yeah, we're gonna see a lot <clears> more horses. Maybe. I don't know. WK, they might throw out an all horse round. Who knows? Yeah, who they knows? Could I mean, we could. I mean, the six cab. It's in. It's in fashion right now. It's in heat. Maybe we could be seeing. Um, we could be seeing WK playing a six cab. <laughs> this match we heated could see up. See WK put out a six cab. I think that'd be a pretty sick move. I don't know if Vecchi would be ready for it as well. Snow uh, will melt here. <laughs> Melts under the hot hooves. Into puddles. Where it will collect. And feed uh, micro. You gotta, you um, gotta, you gotta throw some water on. You gotta take some of that water and throw it on Oodle, cause that man's insane. He is insane. <laughs> throw some water on him. In the words of Don't Busta you, Rhymes. Do you throw water on him cause he's on fire? Why would you? Why would you throw water on an insane he's person? He's gonna overheat. That's the problem. <laughs> Run that map intro, you man. Oh, okay. Bam.
And we're in the game. I think we're not live. We've we've missed a, a spawn player from Vecchi right now. Oh, I thought he but, dropped, um, so I had to deal with it. But America, you know, we're just so gosh drop? darn humble. He, I think he dropped, yeah. So we're going to restart here. Um... Galdon seems to be not willing Rule to... Rule of law. That's what we're doing here. Oh, and the grenade grenade calls that the match is going to be restarted. So, um, I think I think, I think WK didn't want to have a restart there. But, um, grenade calls that it should be restarted. Well, it's the first round in a new set. This is why the referee has made this decision, I think. And I yeah, agree. I it should be, it should be yeah, balanced and fair. fair. And, oh, my God, WK with a... Six well, cap! This is, this is the reason I think WK were concerned by it, because they've gone for the 6 cav. Uh, I called it out. I am a, I am a fortune teller. I'm a wizard. I called it. I think this is the reason they didn't want Vecchi to have a restart, because they didn't want Vecchi to react. But I don't think Vecchi are doing anything different anyway. Uh, and they don't have to deal with this 6 cav from WK, which could be seriously effective. Uh, they're going to wait it out. And I, I'm, I'm so curious as to whether WK have been practicing it on this map, or if they're just going to go for it. Like, I, I've got no idea. I, but... Uh, this is really interesting, yeah. I'm also curious to see if Oodle is as good an archer as he is a fighter, because he is switched over. He is one of the few not riding a horse, along with Fidel Lagstro, faithfully arching. Yeah, he's not got a shield either, which is an uh, interesting choice there. He doesn't need a shield. His no, opponents need shield. You, really, you need a shield badly, yeah. No, no shield for um, Lagstro either, the other archer. And, well, it's just interesting. I think WK can be waiting for the flag here. Um, the thing about 6 cap on this map, I think it works pretty well, but uh, the main issue is, it's if, I mean, it's what we mentioned about this map before, it's if the other team gets, like, archers up on these slopes, Cav can do nothing up there. I mean, Cav is just useless on those slopes. Oh, Fidel, he's he been shot up. He run any, dodge any, juking. But I think this is a nice move from WK. What they've done is they're taking control of the, of the sort of slopey side of the map. Oh, I never noticed Fidel sure that... actually made his face look like Fidel. That's... I never knew he did this. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah, he does. It yeah. has fidelity actually, to the actual Fidel. That's actually quite a likeness. It's pretty impressive. Yes. That's pretty good, right? That is a pretty good rendition. Although, is not is Fidel dead? Or is he... He's, 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 he's also... Castro, yeah, Ca Castro's dead, isn't he? Pretty sure. Chris Raul took over. I think he's in. He's incubated in a time capsule along with Walt Disney. <laughs> that's why I want to think. I think that's what he'd want anyway. Um, Black spawns up here on this hill, and as I said before, the problem here for for WK is going to be a place like Kinyaz, already up there on that slope, causing them problems. I don't know what WK going to do exactly, but this is a hard. This is, I think it's probably this is the worst flag they could have hoped for. It's really hard to move on there with Cav and. Um, they can have yes. a hard time here, I think. Betsy, Victorious is just shooting away, trying to get something done. The thing is here, though, uh, Vecchi haven't moved on to the flag either, and this could be the big problem for 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 Vecchi. Uh, I mean, even if they can stop WK from coming to the flag, they can't get onto the flag themselves. Because the moment they go on, that's when they're going to start being vulnerable to these cavs. They're just going to run up that hill and start slashing into them. Round goes down to one minute. We've had no hits on anyone so far, and what we could see is possibly WK just charging in. Raising that flag before Vecchi can, oh, and they're going to move Oh, the crash is coming! In they been come. Built and, up. Uh, Gelden crashing into a here wall. We go. What the heck? Happen right now is it? As Kravit comes in, PBK, they're all going to charge these Cav at the back. First, he goes to push up, brings down Gelden immediately, and oh, the Cav of WK are having a hard time right now. They're not singling anyone out. They're over. having trouble. They're getting shot up, tore up. But what are they going to do? They, they Kravit's going to dismount. Oh, on the, they're on the dismounting. Flag. I think this win it for them. It didn't they're work. The they're just going to try and raise the flag and stay alive for 20 seconds. I think they can do it. If they can all get to that flag and stay alive. Could it be a draw though? That's the thing. Players are going down here for WK. This dirty fighting right here. Oodle shooting away. WK are cleaning up the flag, but they're getting shot up. But the flag's gone high now. I think Craddock, if he can stay alive on this flag right now, he's losing the shield. Stay alive, Craddock. Keep the hope. Keep the hope of America on your shoulders. Three seconds left. Craddock is going to do it. He's going to stay alive with WK. Oh, oh my god. There you have it. Amazing stuff, WK. Making six Oh my god, I'm shouting so loud. It's so late here. And I'm going to get complaints from the neighbors, but that was fantastic play from the West Knights. Oh my gosh. Oh, Wake up your neighbors. It. They should be watching this shit. They should be watching it, yeah. I'll post a little, like, I'll post the URL, the URL for the stream on like a little slip through their door. Like, yeah, just, just slide it in there. Not creepy in the least. Let the people sleep. I think we'll be up every morning anyway with this. Well, with their goddamn coughing and stuff. I think the guy upstairs is like, 
kill or something. God, <laughs> that'd be crazy. <laughs> Don't consider it. He needs some just, awesome like... warbanding to heal him, and the six can work out in an unconventional fashion. Well, no, it was. I mean, that's just one of the. That's one of the things you can do with six cav. That's the point of it. I mean, it was. It was fantastic. Perfectly timed. They saw the veteran moving onto the flag. They got on there. Um, they didn't really do very well in the fight, but they they hedged their bets on staying alive. Craddock. Uh, yes, Craddock. One of the WK really leaders here did some fantastic work there. And eventually moving out into open space, so this could be a problem for, for the Russians as Ooh, WK to mess them up there. Hireling is getting, he's no health. He got singled out a little by a ja by a, uh, a couch there. Yeah, but Wise took a hit as well and um, fairly even traded blows there, I think, so far. He's been spraying out, but absolutely great play from West Knights there. Wonderful round win. Oh, there's a dead horse here. Who lost the horse? I think Vecchi might have lost this horse because I don't think WK could have got out without it. Or did or did WK walk out of there? WK walk out of where? No, there's a dead horse over by where Vecchi is. Oh, hmm. Perhaps Vecchi are playing. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it must have been a. I mean, what is what, what horse is it? Show you that would be the. Yeah, it's a hunter. So yeah, I guess I think it's yeah. Vibby's lost his horse. Ah, uh, I see. He's standing next to him. He's quite sad. Him yeah. His horse. He loved that horse. Perhaps, perhaps it's not quite dead, and he's just sort of installing it. It's nah, you can tell moments. his legs broken. They're gonna put it down anyway. That's glue yeah. right there. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Um, so actually, quite an effective little push there from WK. Uh, Mitigating that not... that threat. And yeah, now they're down to, forcing. To as well. They forced flag. And a the thing tiny is, bit. this. This flag, this flag spawn is like so much better for WK as well. I mean, they didn't win the last one. They're they gonna move around though and try and stop Vegeta from getting a uh, advanced ship. Oh, really they're swallowing him up. Kills. Come in, swallowing him up. And this, this six cab worked out really well for WK. The so gaping far. jaws of WK like swallowing up Vegeta. Yeah, I mean, they they just can't they can't keep it keep them off in all directions. Down goes Vibby as well, and uh, only four Vegeta players left right now uh, against. Seven of WK. Who does go down in the in the meantime? Uh, Poo shock. But WK looking seriously strong with this six tactic. And Vecchi got to react. This is a real test for the Russians right now. They can't keep playing the way they're playing. They've either got to go six cat themselves, try and match them, play for the ping. I mean, it's like they got to do something different. Yes, Moving into open like that was never going to work out. In comes Alonso, throwing jabs with no shield. Insane yeah, play. he's really, he's yellowing. Oh, he's getting tore up, the poor man. He's just doing whatever he can. Uh, does rear up a WK player there, but oh, ran Oh, he's a wall. so screwed, he ran his horse, yep, yep. Yeah, that's the problem with javelins. You can't really block with them unless you change the mode, so. Why well, like an easy kill for him there. And flag much higher for, for WK as well. So they pretty much guaranteed this round, I think. Pusher does manage to um, dismount. Uh, Geldon, which is still, it's pretty nice. Ooh, get notorious, a the notorious kill. Pushock oh, yeah. also helping his ally. Good but work from the remaining Vetsy players, but it will not be enough. No, I think it is. Pushock loses his horse now as well. And, uh, in spite of having a lot of kills, Pushock with a 6 0 gore right now. Fantastic wow. work for his team. Oh, it's going to be uh, taken oh, down by the. Wow. By the. Uh, WK X. By the WK Steam Train. With their horses. Yeah, six cav. Beautiful. And um, well. Uh, what's the, what's response? That's what I really want to see. Um, they're taking an extra infantry and drops an archer. I think that is an interesting choice. I don't think it's worked out for them. Uh, an extra infantry? Yeah. Odd. I don't know if that's the right way to go. What, what, what would you suggest little, little they odd. do? I would think more archers. I think. I would think no. Well, I wouldn't think more archers, but I think well, extra infantry can work, but I wouldn't have dropped an. Uh, no, I wouldn't want extra infantry. I, that's the last. I don't know. I'm, I'm, done. It's, it's, I, I would have taken at least four cav for starters. Um, yes, kept three archers and probably off. just had one inf. I would have got the archers to just set up on the on the highest slopes they can. Um. Yeah, and basically just try and hope for the, either of those two flag spawns that are, that are sort of slopeable. And just have slopey archers, because, I mean, it's going to be too hard for the WK cavs to go up, they're going to dismount, and going to hurt themselves in the process in the meantime. That's where the Veggie cavs should be doing their work.
Do we have any heavy horses here for WK? That's um, something I'm trying to check out right now. I can't see any so far. Perhaps they're actually preferring not to take up heavy horses. That could be another factor. I can't see why they're so damn good. They don't need no heavy horse. But eventually showing a little bit of inflexibility here. Uh, I think they do have... That's the worst here. trait you can have in battle. In oh, it really is, yeah. You've got to be ready to change up what you're doing uh, at a moment's notice and always be ready to react, especially when your opponent's doing something as crazy as 6-cav. Yeah, but you just seem unprepared right now. Difficult to watch. West Knight's taking advantage 6-4 to four, and actually Vegi taking a few hits here as well from uh, WK Archers here. A bit of a crossfire setup. Yeah, Oodles has Mass a wonderful spread. position. Yeah, Master spread here for WK actually. Um, flag spawns in the middle here. Uh, up on the hill by the windmill and it's a really good spawn for WK yet again. They're actually going to have to approach it differently. But I don't know how they're going to do that. They're just kind of camping in their own town. and They're getting shot up by Fidel and uh, Oodle. Two archers doing yeah, the work more. Because they're really I mean, peppering them. Well, Vegi can camp for a little bit, but they can't camp forever. They've got to get to that Ooh, flag. Oh, Vegi coming uh, out into the field. Yeah, this is wow, where look at WK those arrows strike, landing everywhere. They're, they're going for some tree cover. Yeah. Yep. Great positions by the guys. Oh, it's there. happening the again. Comes it's in. happening. Oh, Juve gets caught up in in a bit of the in a bit by a spear though, but it does escape. But WK cab coming just from just all sides right now. Too it's too many much horses handle. doing too PPK many things. PPK one point seven. Gelden. PPK getting another kill as well. PPK really flying in this map so far. Got five and two kill score. Push picks another kill though. He's the one veggie player who's really shining right now. Um, seven and one score for that guy. But uh, Vecchi just just crumbling to this tactic game. Uh, yeah, from all sides. Alonso still alive as well. Once again, Alonso and Pushok, last remaining players. See, I, maybe Vecchi did not do their research because, you see, in UNAC, we play a different set of maps and a different rule set, but yeah. there are two maps in particular that are abominations on the world that are played in UNAC for some strange reason and they're played often, and that is open field and random planes. <laughs> And that is just a <laughs> horse fest. Everybody, everybody's on cab. If you're not on a horse, you're, be you're not even playing it right. It's so stupid <laughs> and it's terrible to watch and film, but nonetheless, they play it. So WK have experience with horses. Yeah, that's the thing. And um, they've sat, they've nestled right into this six cab tactic, taking it straight from um, the Division A meta, forged by A. They probably watched some of those stupid r random playing matches. <laughs> I sometimes play some like Benny Hill music while the horses run around because it's just so ridiculous. But hey, transplanted I mean, here, the strategy works wonderfully. Uh, they have, they have they're playing a different style of the six cap tactic as well. I mean, a lot of time what you have um, the, the cap doing is you actually have the archers uh, playing on horseback, uh, and you have like or, or you, oh I mean, you goodness, wait. WK starting this off early. I mean, sometimes have that, but oh yeah, they are. They just oh, they, ca they caught some veggie players. Getting some shots. Yeah, they caught some veggie players out in the open there. And WK just gonna take that loss and just run away with it. And what you actually see, um, I mean, you see, uh, what I was trying to say was uh, that you have like um, two of the cav are gonna take like infantry build setups and dismount near the enemy and just engage them in like dismounted combat. But uh, we don't really see WK, do WK doing that. They're sort of playing more uh, six standard cav, but it's still just a variation of the six cav tactic and uh, definitely part of the meta right now. Wow, Vecchi holding up at this little building with their remaining players. They do have more archers, though, but they're losing the, the ranged battle against two. This is quite sad. It's all that pressure from all those cabs. Yeah, I can, I can agree with that. Uh, they are they're just sort of trying to camp and just shoot. They got like four archers now. Yeah, they're shooting, but they ain't hitting stuff. Yeah, you're now right. Now the pressure of the flag, on top of the pressure of all those cab, I, I don't know what Vetch is going to do here. Yeah, once again, it's, not, it's really nice flag spawn for WK. I think they've been a little bit fortunate there with those flags. Because uh, if they'd spawn elsewhere, we could have seen some kind of sneaky stuff there from Vetch and lots of like slope camping. I think they got, they got a little bit of a rough deal there, but uh, in either case, I don't think Vetch are playing this outright. I'm having a really hard time dealing with this. 
WK slowly encroaching upon them, but they don't need to. They're raising the flag quite a bit. I think Vets you want to take out a few horses or anything before they run out there, but it's not working. Yeah. Oh, oh goodness! Oh, the concentrated well. fire. Yeah, nickname just trying to hide behind this post and just shoot at, at Horton, but uh, you, it's not going to happen. Victorious trying to rear up the enemy as well, and that's working a little bit better, but uh, another WK cab is going to come in from the other side, from the back, and just take him down soon. Team kill from nickname as well brings that wow. boost up, and that's... Team kill from Vetsy, yeah. and here comes nickname. Oh my god! Last show brings that nickname. <laughs> uh, Vibby, the only player left for Vetsy left now, and... Uh, He's looking around. I see such confusion. The man's in shock. He's in shock. This is a whitewash. Oh. This is America at its strongest. All I see is domination here from That's from right. Like You're seeing the constitution of the American players. <laughs> it's really it's a fantastic move. Um, uh, I think they played it, played it out really brilliantly. And, uh, oh, maybe blocking I mean, people left and right, though. Even on the close-up, we saw like, some really nice hit from WK as well. He gets oh, killed by an archer! He Two you hear archers me, really won that round for WK. Is, is my voice coming through okay? Is there a problem with your voice? What? I just hear you can fine. You, can you hear me okay? I hear you. Okay. Is there a problem? Alright, that's cool. I've just got, I've got kind of like lagging the server and stuff. Alright. Probably just some noob in my house using the internet. How dare they? Go down intense. sense. And, uh, uh, this has been uh, this map from a close game to a, a complete stomp right now. Yeah, I mean, you know that WK can do the same thing as Nords. I think some people can, are keeping their money. Cause you, what do you bet against the house? Because what with with zero odds, do you even make anything? You might even lose for betting. No, no, the odds the odds are pretty good. Uh, oh, the odds are determined. Think, pre okay. They're they're pretty determined. Yeah, but obviously. <laughs> Like, how else would you... Oh, oh, you mean like, uh, okay. You don't bet against other people. Like, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, because, like, you're betting against no one. Everyone just gets back their money. Good show. All right. <laughs> no, you bet against the house, yeah. But, yeah, it's a good win for basically everyone so far. Can Vecchi bring it back? How, how do you defeat the six cab? Is this this new meta is going to take everything by storm? Morbin is never going to be the same with all these cab and horses running around. I mean, it's just with like, it's with more coordination than this. I think certainly on this map, um, a good idea is to gamble on the slopes. Veggie can't really afford to do that now anyway because uh, they need to win every round and they can't, can't, they can't really afford to gamble on the flag spawning over by the ruins every single round, even though it's got a two out of three chance. Um, I mean, really just you need better coordination, I think. What we saw Aichi doing that was working pretty well. We're just being so patient, uh, using the map edge. I'm using effectively like the closest thing that Ruins has to a slope. Uh, pushing forward on the sides, uh, rearing up horses when they can, dismounting riders. Just like, just playing fundamental really, but uh, keeping everything really tight. And with a lot of organization, that's how you beat it, I think. <laughs> well, the, they. it's just so sad seeing Vets you walk out and getting like shish kebab from all these angles their men dying they're hanging together I, but they die together the problem for veggie with so many archers like they don't have spears to, to rip up, up the horses they're, they're not able to just they don't have to deal with this at all guys do tweet in let us know uh can veggie come back can, put it back yeah and that's not how you deal with the uh, six cap tactic how do you think it can be stopped and crushed? how could veggie have won here for russia Mother Russia sheds a tear for this loss. And here we go. In with uh, what will be the final set. West Knights 8-4 up against Vecchi right now. And it's, a, it's at least a draw. And if it's a draw, everyone loses their money, which is just going to be a nightmare. That's what no one wants. Everybody. Draws the, house, are like... the house wins, though. I did, I did bet on a draw, I think, this week. Actually. Uh, I think it's like Diak Wonderland versus... Uh, I can't remember who it is. Just bad and embarrassing. That's fine. Yeah, I think it was, um, Jack Wonder versus Valhalla Rising. I think I bet on a draw for that, which is perhaps a little bit of a reckless bet, but I'm a, I'm a reckless kind of better. Could pay dividends for me. You're gonna lose everything, man. You're gonna lose your new ID shirt. They're gonna take it right off you. <laughs> or that's all you have okay. left while you live in a gutter. 
Wow. Betting all your money on Warband. I think I've got a bit more selfish than that. I'm currently sixth highest in the betting out of uh, several dozen people. I have you know. Oh, oh, you're, you're, you're taking shirts off other people's backs. I'm doing pretty well, yeah. Like I said, <laughs> double my money in the first week. I'm going to double it this week as well. Well, you did the if right only, thing. If I could bet with real money. Always bet on America. <laughs> if you don't, we'll invade you. I got no oil. Promise. Not hiding any oil. <laughs> Dumb olive oil. Does that count? No, I don't, I don't even have that. Olive oil. <laughs> we'll find some pretense, my friend. But veggie. Oh, did the the calf stop? Did the horse, <laughs> the horse slaughter end? Oh, oh holy kill it from nickname. Snipe out and do it. And this is this is one way you beat this guy tactic. You shoot them all in the head before the before the fighting starts. That's a good move from Ben. Where did from, you uh, die? I got no idea, but uh, he did die. Well, nickname was shooting up from this uh, slope. Very nice move. I think he's died. I'm not sure exactly where he's died. He died in the, oh, he died in the middle of ruins. Oh, was it, it was an archer jewel. Well, not, wasn't a calf. Right in the oh, neck. Oh, he died inside the ruin. Yeah. Pe and, um, WK slowly making their way to the little village controlled by... Uh... Vecchi. Yeah, Nick backing off now. Uh, Flag is spawned in favor of Vecchi, and I think holding these buildings as well could be a bit of an advantage. We actually don't see WK taking 6 cab this time anyway, so they're not dealing with it again. Uh, WK not preferring not to um, go for 6 Nordic cav. But you can in pretty good shape as well. You might see WK break out again if it's not working out for them. I think WK is trying to surround Vecchi here, but Vecchi are in a great position. They got... Kenya's on the building, Strybog up there. Why yeah. have we got two little javelins sticking out of his horse's butt? It's like, that's kind of crazy if you can find Vibby there. Oh, PPK and Craddock, I think they've been caught out. Betsy pressing on him. Boogie yeah, coming for the rescue. Yeah, they might piling in now. Boot. Piling brings down Craddock in the meantime, and Craddock goes down too. Betsy looking strong in this round. Eight pairs against five, and Ooh, they well, are we going to see WK switch back? Oh, down goes Wise Sly as well to another headshot from Nickname. Guys taking heads. Stripwalk brings down PPK. Nickname with his third headshot of the round. This guy. Oh my God, Vecchi coming back. WK throwing their lead. Oh no, I know what's happening. America Pride. No. This guy doesn't have to shoot heads. So I'll give him that much. America Hubris. This is the oh, this is the failing of America. That's how you beat us. We get cocky. I shoot over towards Oodle, just sitting on his little hill here. Kind of yeah, snipe Oodle, nickname. Oodle is. Oh yeah. Oh the the kill ends. Yes, in the last second they kill Oodle. Got to finish them off, but I think Vetch had the higher flag anyway, so they would have won the round. Dang, what button Oodle is it to down. rear your horse? I've been trying to figure that out. That's pretty cool. Control J. Thank you so much. That's useful. absolute pleasure. Consider yourself community managed. <laughs> So Vecchi are again. managing real well here. That they lost almost no one, I think. They got a lot of money. They can't yeah, lose WK, around. WK is sticking with the, the three, uh, three cab though. Not going to go up to six yet. PPK and Craddock playing as infantry. I think if if WK lose another round like this, we'll see them go back to six cab. I think that we'll just have to see that because oh, we're just taking a the hill there as well. It's a pretty hard one to take. WK again doing with the side push. I don't know about this. A nickname was really crucial in that round as well. Three great headshots there. Oh, yes. Nickname. Incredible arching. Showing WK that Vecchi has strong archers as well. In fact, really strong archers because WK is getting peppered. Yeah, I'm having a hard time pushing on, the, on this village spawn. Vecchi just going to camp it. And they're still in a pretty good, sh in pretty good positions for uh, the flags here as well. Team's gonna have a bit of a stamina right now. WK with full map control should be noted. Um, virtually completely confined to the spawn. Yeah, so long as WK doesn't push too hard like last round, this camping should not work out for Veggie. Uh, Wow, um, even the Hireling is throwing jabs well. out there. Everyone playing the ranged game right now. Big name trying to find a... Uh, trying to find a, a place to shoot here. Trying to find something to shoot at. Yeah, just 
Because range everything, projectiles everywhere. Yeah. Black spawns in the ruins now here, and uh, I bet you're gonna be forced to move out of their hiding hole. I've come to nickname on the left slope, PPK. And Craddock gonna be holding that slope off, trying to stop um, Vetchy from taking that, that high position. Wow, Vetchy now pressing on WK, and now they're getting peppered as well. No one hitting anything though, many shields getting hit. Yeah, WK right tense, different now. Vetchy just edg edging forward, WK giving him an inch at a time. Slowly, slowly backing off, but. I'm not going to give them the high A lot of tension position. That's for they really want to avoid. here on this push. And, and they're not allowing Vecchi this crossfire. And it's really give, it's really frustrating, I think, the Vecchi archers. Um, we see Saint coming up the hill to try and deal with these WK players. But uh, this is not this is not where a Cav is best like to fight with. Uh, well, is it a distraction? Go down oh, he... PPK absolutely nails him. Victorious and Nickname have found some space, though. Kronik immediately moves in to, to stop them from firing. Because they could do real damage here. But PPK the double kill. Boogie takes down Pushog as well. And... WK could be seeing this out now. Great play so far in this round. They've really held strong. Sure, they've got great I think organization. Saint, Saint with his horse totally ramming it into that wall. Screwed himself Interesting over. Interesting, we see that we see WK players backing off and giving space for the Vecchi Archers here. This could be the only chance that Vecchi oh, get. Oh, oh, but brilliant okay. pick off from uh, Lashley. That takes down nickname. Uh, great shot there from the WK player. Uh, I think uh, WK with Gelden dismounting and, or losing his horse at least and uh, raising the flag now. It's going to be too hard for Vecce. They, they, they don't have enough urgency on the flag, and they're just losing as well. PPK, Wiley Sly, getting the kills there, and great play from the West Knight so far. Wow, the Jew, backup for Jew from the R tier. Down they go, that's going to be it. Vecce, they had a nice round in the first first set, in the first round, sorry. And they had a good pass on Valorum, but Lasher finished it off with a beautiful headshot, and I, I think a Lasher headshot was what started this match, and it's beautiful that it ends it as well. What a nice little... Poetic touch there. Poetic Fantastic play touch. from the West Knights. Wow. That's that's a 9-5 win. Bang. A great match. I look outside my window, and the American flag I have stationed right outside my porch waves proudly, as it was waving at the beginning of this match. So, go America. <laughs> <laughs> go America, indeed. Fantastic, fantastic play by the West Knights. And, wow. Three wins in three games. West Knights, uh, I think they're looking almost... Dead set for promotion here, but the real question is how high can they go? I don't know if we'll be able to get anyone in to come and speak to us from the West Knights. Hopefully, we can do. Uh, I'll start bugging them now. That I got a feeling they're going to be sweating. Really I got a feeling they're going to be sweating out this round difference. A great match from both teams. Vecchi showing really strong infantry work in the first few, in the first sets, but then, my God, that. That six cav strategy unsettled them. Absolutely, it was absolutely a great game to be honest. Completely uh, unsettled the Russians. Yeah, fantastic. And a really, um, it's a nice play from WK as well. They clearly uh, are very conscious of the flat mechanics and making a lot of good decisions there. I'm also going to give MVP to Oodle. Oh god, yeah. That, his yeah, his could... expertise carried over to the, the frosty battle because those archers were really, really wrecking. The, uh, they were. Betchy. I think PPK deserves to mention as well, though. He was really effective on, on the second map. Yep. PPK is a stellar performer as well. Play great for them. And, uh, yeah, cool to see WK picking up the round without going for the 6 cav either. Uh, obviously, they just didn't feel uh, comfortable playing it as Nord cav. And, um, yeah, they seem perfectly effective playing a more standard open map style anyway. Good job. The North Americans. Uh, I think we, were, we are going to have an interview here, but I might just be waiting a little bit more, more for it. I do want to mention that tomorrow, I definitely am going to be streaming the Kingdom of Swadia versus SSS. Do watch well, that. What does SSS stand for? Oh, don't put me on the spot here. It's, it's a ridiculous name. Um, oh, it's a ridiculous one. Whatever. The SSS. Wait, I, I'll find it. The what? secret old, service. Old, Slav, old Slavian school of Slavomir. <laughs> That's a really good name. It's a great name, but it's also ridiculous. The SSS. That's something else. Well, yes. Watch that tomorrow. More streams, more Warband action. And, uh, yeah. But in the meantime, stick around because we're going to get West Knight in here to come and talk to us for a little bit about their game and about how. 
bad Europeans are and how easy this has been for them. <laughs> Flawless victory so far. Someone will take them down. Someone always has to take them down. Well, you think so, but uh, they seem pretty confident. Like when, I, when I spoke to Craddock on Horse and Sword, he was saying, they don't see why they can't play in Division A. They're feeling pretty good. Well, West Knights are great, but even in UNAC, they did lose a round or two. They lost... But hey, then again, maybe that just means they only lost two other Americans who are just a league above the Europeans. <laughs> That's what the Europeans like to say. Always a league above the NA scene because you get more competition. That ain't showing. Well, I don't know. It's still in. The, they're still playing in the bottom flight. That, although they're, they're getting impressive results and they're, they're playing really well. This this doesn't show that the NA is better than you, unfortunately for for NA. <laughs> Well, it shows that West Knights did triumph over Vecchi here. Hard fought. Who do you manage to convince to come in here? GG's going gonna be... around, so... Yeah, I think we're gonna we can get someone in here pretty soon. I think the final score was 11-5. Maybe. I've yeah, just updated that as well. And uh, yeah, we'll play to the Americans. That's a nice score as well. All carried by that there, open field close, prowess. The closest game so far. Yeah, 4-4 four, four on the Valoran, but... Well, as I said, they're better, they're better on the open maps. The 6 cab was way too much for Vecchi to handle. I think, yeah, to be honest, like... Even if Vecchi might be able to get more rounds with map, after getting dominated 4-0, for that 6 cab tactic, I think they were just broken, to be honest. And they've got to go rethink a few things, uh, especially since that they could have they could have gone into that second map with the lead if they'd sort out their flag strategies and stuff. Oh yeah, that oh please someone anyone who's watching go go talk to Vecchi about the If you the speak flag Russian, things. if you speak Russian, just explain to them the flag mechanics because I mean there are other Russian teams which know as well. Like this is the thing, and there there must be players in their team that know the flag mechanics. Let let spread knowledge, folk. Knowledge will set you free. Yeah, this is like really important stuff to be. To be uh, also, to be let them know how to deal with six cav. Let everyone know. Well, nobody knows right now. It's the thing. Uh, a is still feeling pretty confident. I think A going to be using it um, a lot, a lot more as well. How do you stop the six cav? Come up with ways, people. Define a new meta by trouncing the old one. And we are going to have. WK's bum, bum, very bum. own Wiley Sly coming in for an interview. Wiley Sly representing WK. Be talking to us for a little bit. So, we got to him. I think Udo wants to come in as well, so bring them both in. Oh, yes. Udo, and the MVP, bar none. User was moved to your channel. User Let's was get him in. To your channel. Oh, I'm PvP.